I want to work on what we worked on last week, which is the fainting and positioning using the faint of ha uh, Habu Jahai or Meluja Kumpas. Okay. And we're going to do some exercises just to make sure we get the technique right. Because last week I was having difficulty uh, passing it on and getting it correct. And I tested it out live on Sunday and it was the same. So we're going to continue working on this one move with, um, with the detail and the positioning and everything about it because it's a move that you can really use in capoeira. You know, if you can learn to faint a move and make people believe it, it's going to help you. Let's start with another exercise that is going to help you understand the movement we do afterwards. Okay, so let's get our feet, yeah, shoulder width, twice shoulder width, yeah, and I just want you to go one side, and then the other side, yeah, just like this, okay, you don't have to bend deep or anything like that, you just Put in the leg, the weight from one side to the other side. Okay. So I want you to do that by shifting your hips. Okay. Watch. Just watch a moment. I get my position. I'm going to lean onto the balls of my feet slightly, and I'm going to put my hips towards my right leg, my hips towards my left leg. One, now I'm on the ball of my right foot here. Two, ball of the left foot now. One, two, one, two. Take it easy. Let me just do it from the side. I get my feet twice shoulder width apart. I go, on the heels, balls of the feet. I lean my hips towards the camera, my hips away from the camera, towards the camera, away from the camera. And the leg that's bending goes onto the ball of the foot. Okay? All of this with the hands behind the back. Let's do that a little bit more. One. And you see how my, my top half, look at my shoulders, look. They turn slightly. Okay. That's just the, the bottom half. Now we're going to make this top half and the hands fit in. I go on the balls of the feet. And now I want you to look and open the hands. And then we can, as we do what we did before, we put this hand towards the floor. It doesn't need to go to the floor. Okay. And we're going to do three. And then we're going to change position. One, two, three. three. Keep all of that in mind. Now we start doing the actual training or the move. Let's just go this position, okay? And I'm just gonna step forward, yeah? Into this position and faint. Okay? And then come back. I step forward. I actually step back, look. I step back and forward. Okay. okay. I step back, forward, I'm in position, and I just use my body 
for position. And then we start again. Back, forward, position. Carry on doing a few minutes like this, okay? Abu Jahai, descendo na queda de rins. That means the Abu Jahai kick going down into queda de rins. You don't kick first and then go down. You go down and kick at the same time. I move back and then this hand goes in once and twice and I go down onto this hand. When you're in this cater de hinge position, hold the cater de hinge, and then stand. And as you stand, put one hand in front of your face. I think this next bit, look where my hands are already here. I don't want to be doing anything much with my hands. I step back. Yeah. Then I do the next move. One, one and two. Okay. From this position, close, she's on, stand. I want you to move like this. Yeah, open. As you're moving back, one, two. You get this opening as you come back, then go. One, 